Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Baba, officially Baba. And the Wingstop series continues. If this is your first video of watching my channel, like about talk, me talking about Wingstop, and you're still interested, at the end of this video, make sure you go check out my other videos. They're very informative and they're very informative. So let's get into this video. Okay, so the 10 ways on how to be a good Wingstop employee. Step one, you have to smile. Smile at your customers as in like, if you answer the phone, you can hear someone like, hey, thank you for calling me. So my name is Bahalda, how can I help you? Like, I don't know, like, I'm smiling like, hey, thank you for calling Wings Up. My name is Bahalda, how can I help you? And what else? That's all? You want problems with it? Like, I don't know. Cause when people hear like, you don't sound interested on the phone or in person, they just be like, you know what, never mind. I don't want nothing. I'm going to go, like, you wouldn't buy something from somebody that's, like, even if not their fault, they probably, you might be having a bad day or something. But for me personally, if I'm trying to order something and the person behind the computer is having, like, a little attitude, not even an attitude, but, like, not happy to be there, I'm going to have that, um... Well, can I get a, like, that's when people be like, oh my gosh, customers are so rude. They always got an attitude. Either way, either way, step two to being a good Wingstop employee is come to work on time. Like, be, let's be real. Come to work on time. I know sometimes it'd be traffic or you probably overslept because if you took a nap or something or things just happen. But it helps for the shift to come, like the shift before your shift or whoever is transitioning because you're coming in, it helps them better because you don't know what they gotta go through in their life. And coming to work on time, and you always come to work on time, everybody be like, I ask with you, I, I could rely on you because you always come to work, like, you my dog. Like, come to work on time. Okay, <laughs> step three to how to be a good Wingstop employee. Clean your shift, as in like, if you know you're about to leave or if you're closing, make sure you clean your shift. Make sure everything is clean, tied it up for the next person to come or to end the day in the store because we know you were the last person. You were a part of that shift that didn't clean and stuff like that. And it will just give you a bad rep, like, or it will shorten your day depending on what wing stop you work at or how the managers work. It's part of your job. Just clean your shift. So step four to how to be a good Wingstop employee is clean the tables, cleaning the tables before in between orders as in like if someone was just sitting down and they left their trash and stuff like that and they left and you wasn't like, you didn't notice. So it's been like a good 20 minutes and then somebody else just walked in and he's trying to sit at that table, but that table's dirty. Now you got to like clean the table in front of them. Blah, blah, blah. But if you like be cautious or be aware that somebody just left, you can easily like clean the table at that moment and then it will be a free table for the next person to come instead of like last minute. So good way, either way, people gonna sit down, like the table gonna be clean at the end of the day, but make sure to notice the clean the table. What I'm trying to say is better to clean the table before and before a customer tell you, can you clean the table for me? It's kind of dirty, somebody let they try. Da -da 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 -da. Instead, you already did it, they don't have to talk to you about that. Because it makes it seem like you're not doing your job, which you technically are not doing your job. So. Either way, step five on how to be a good wing stop employee. <laughs> be polite, like, come on, like, what I mean by be polite, if someone asks, um, the way I, I'm telling you, I'm breaking a lot of rules, but um, when I used to work at Wingstop, and usually you're supposed to charge people for extra ranch or stuff like that, but sometimes, I just be tired. I'd be like, okay, you can have this. Or like, I'd be like, if someone talks to me in a polite tone, I'll treat them in a polite way. Or like, can you make more sweet tea? I'm like, hey, give me a minute and let me handle this customer and I'm gonna go and make you some more sweet tea for you. If that's fine, all right, thank you. Like, have a polite tone because at the end of the day, it's customer service and you want people to come back to the um store, to help the store out because, you know, if the store getting paid, you getting paid. Or they write a review on a little survey thing at the end of the receipt. You looking good. You might get a promotion. You might be the manager. You might be the system manager. You might be like I'm just saying. Like there's a lot of tips that y'all really like. If you apply this to any job, honestly, you can apply this to any fast food jobs or anything. 
but it's just like a useful tip for how to be a good employee but being polite is one of them because a lot of people think oh is it because or people have this bad stereotype towards people working at fast food like oh they rude this and this and that i'm being here like because lately i've been hearing a lot of negativity about wingstop employees <laughs> They're like, oh, they grew with this and this and that. It takes forever. I'm like, oh, my business doesn't <laughs> stop. But yeah, take into those considerations. And really, if you're just not a polite person, you're not should be doing anything dealing with customer service. Let's be real. Step six, rule six on how to be a good employee at Wingstop. Leave your personal drama home. Leave anything dealing with your personal life leave that out the door like before you clocked in like okay you could clock in then i gotta do this when i leave when i leave okay wait no before you clock in i have to do this and this and this before i leave but when you clock in okay work mode like you know what i'm saying because it's one thing because i'm not trying to okay i'm saying all of this but it seems because i experienced it that's why so i'm like trying to give y'all better tips that i could use at that time and like had a better experience in a way because what I'm trying to say is I'm basically giving you tips that most of them I use and most of them I should have did or I experienced in witness all of that but usually some of the co-workers back at my place um they used to bring a personal drama stuff or let's say you had a you had um somebody's looking for you and they come to your work they doing all this commotion it's, it's, it really, it, it really happened. Like, y'all wouldn't believe they'll come to your word and have all this commotion. You in the bag, you yelling over the counter at them. I'm like, yo, customers looking like it's a movie. It's like, it's crazy. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. Just leave y'all personal drama home. Y'all came here to work. That's it. That's it. So step seven on how to be a good at being stop employee is do not get into a relationship with your coworkers. When I talk about this, I mean do not get in a relationship with your coworkers, period. You can get to you can get in a relationship with a coworker that not with a coworker, with somebody that works in the store next to you or like in the plaza next to you, but not in the same store. Don't get don't don't get in a relationship with your coworkers, period. Don't do no flings. Don't do the only thing I'm cute, cheap thing I'm cute, da, 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 da. I'm trying to like slide, da, da. don't do that because then it's going to become your personal drama in your workplace and it's just like, it's just messy and it was like, it just, I <laughs> get all these flashbacks, but it just, <laughs> it's just messy and like, I'm trying to help y'all because it kind of affects your not working ability, but like, you're conscious in a way because you're trying to take somebody's order and then you see your work bed, whatever, pull in, or he's trying to flirt with another girl or she's doing this and this. And you're like, yo, you acting this is for these people. Da, 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 da. And sometimes you might say that out loud. And then they'd be like, what you mean? Da, 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 da. And then everybody looking at, like, oh, y'all together, like, at work. Like, come on. Or somebody put out their phone and they be like, Hey, hey, I'm just saying. I think a lot of people told y'all this, but for real, me kind of almost. I'm just saying, don't be in a work. Stay away from that. Just quit. One of y'all gotta quit. If y'all really like each other, one of y'all gotta quit. One of y'all gotta find another job. One of y'all gotta work there one day a week. But it don't like affect y'all. One one day a week. Uh, number eight <laughs> ways to be. Wow. You know what, number eight. Okay, when you kind of work, you gotta love what you're doing. Not love, love, but like, when you're doing it, you like, be grateful in a way. Like, okay, I'm doing this job, get my check, da 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 da. How can I, how can I, like, you, you in the moment, like, you vibing with it. Like, can I, how can I take an order? We have a special going on. If somebody asks you what's your favorite flavor, you tell them and you explain it why, because you know, we Wingstock experts. I'm out here rapping so hard. I don't even work there no more. But I miss it though. <laughs> um, yeah, so you're like, oh, yeah, because we're quote unquote Wingstop. Uh, we're quote unquote Wingstop, Wingstop experts. So, like, the first thing you do, 
basically when you get hired or training you have to try all the flavors where you can know which one is your favorite favorite so when a customer be like oh you pick for me or what do you like you already have something to reply to because you can't say oh i never had nothing and you working there unless you're like vegetarian or you're not really into that that's another that's an excuse but if you like into it like like wings and stuff like that and then you should have like response and it's like build good I don't know. Love what you're doing because people be want to be, some people want to be in a position that you're in, but sometimes they couldn't just fit the qualities or the qualifications. So, but you do. So yeah, I love what you're doing in a way to be good. Thanks, Apple for you. If you don't love the way that, if you don't love what, you, if you don't like what you have to do, sometimes you might not even get scheduled to do it. I'm just saying, but Number nine on how to be a good wing stop employee. Don't cause problems. This, don't, do not cause problems as in, do not cause problems with your coworkers, do not cause problems with customers, do not be the problem of somebody's problem, if that makes sense. Like, um, be, as in being a problem as in, you forgot to drop somebody 10 piece wings so they act here, they have to wait an extra seven to 10 minutes um, for their food because you forgot to drop it. So that's the problem. So now they're mad. Or when I mean don't cause problems, as in a customer order wings and then they, they, they was like, okay, I want it. Lemon pepper, this and this and that. And then you gave them how they wanted it. And they come back and be like, this is not what I want. Da, da, da. And then you out here front and back. Like, you making it worse because some people be hot heads like just be like I, I hear what you're saying okay do you want it's gonna be another 13 minute wait is that fine if they say yes or no that's up to them because you offer the solution so and then as the means of don't cause problems too that's the personal drama because personal drama can end up being a problem if depending how you showing it at work and the relationship they Dang your relationship, then your co-workers can end up being a problem too. Um, a lot of things could be a problem being an instigator, like this happened on one shift and you gonna, and then the next shift you with somebody else and you wanna tell everybody, oh, this and this and happen, they say this about you, this co-worker don't really like you. So you causing problems with other co-workers because you wanna see something happen or you wanna see something pop off. Don't do that. Nobody likes that. Don't do that. At the end of the day, you're going to be by yourself solo. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, do not cause problems. Any problems you could, anything that, like, can qualify as a problem or could be under that term, do, don't cause problems. Don't cause it. If you want to be a good wing stop employee, do not cause it. If you want to be a good employee, period, any job, don't cause that. Period. That's all I think. So, part, the last one. Number 10 on how to be a good employee, wing stop employee or an employee in general is customer service. Always try to satisfy the customer. Like don't just mud it, but like if they ask a question, try to like satisfy their needs or if they eating in and like everything's okay, like check up, check up on them and stuff. Like, you know, customer service, that's like a good way to help because it will, it will tempt them more to actually do the surveys. And then at my place, or well, my old place or whatever, when we do the surveys, we tell them um, they have to do it at that moment and then they get an extra three piece. They get an extra three piece of chicken wings or five piece of bonus wings when they do the service survey that day. Like, like, oh my God. like you could order corn, only corn or only order a soda and then there's a survey at the bottom to see you do that you get a five piece bonus wing you do another survey because you order something else you do it like stuff like that um but it gotta be that same day you can't just buy something today use that receipt tomorrow and like try to finesse and uh, i mean because we don't have to like give you we didn't we didn't have to give you wings or bonus wings we choose that because from the kindness of our heart we did the survey improving our store <laughs> but yeah um customer survey service customer service is really good i make it help you and boost you if the um if the person like you so much like if the customer like you like you so much in a way like you 
have you made them have a good experience at Link Stop, they will be like, oh, we're your manager. And then the, and I'll just want to speak to the manager and then they will just give you praise to the manager. The manager might be like, okay, let me give this person more shift or some responsibilities because the way people react to you and stuff like that. So that's a good way. But basically, that's my top 10 or my 10 reasons why on how to be a good being stop employee or if you can use this as any job in general you can because they could kind of correlate to those things besides cleaning the table that's for like restaurant stuff but overall yeah so make sure you like comment subscribe it's your girl vaba fishy vaba and i'm signing out bye <laughs>